Next, we'll work with the alarms that were imported from the RSView32 project. RSView32 has support for tag-based or HMI alarms. One big advantage of moving to Factory Talk View SE is its support for Factory Talk alarms and events. Factory Talk alarms and events supports two types of alarms, device-based and tag-based. Device-based alarms use built-in instructions that are programmed and downloaded to a Logix 5000 controller. The controller detects alarm conditions and publishes alarm and events information to Factory Talk alarms and events, which can then be displayed by Factory Talk View SE. Device-based alarms are available in RS Logix 5000 version 16 or later. If you're not using Logix 5000 controllers, or if you don't want to use the built-in alarm instructions, tag-based alarming with Factory Talk alarms and events offers the equivalent of HMI tag alarm monitoring, but with an expanded feature set. Tag-based alarm monitoring is supported for Logix 5000 controllers, PLC5, and SLC500 devices communicating through a Rockwell Automation Device Server, or RS Links Enterprise, or for third-party controllers communicating through OPC data servers. First, let's set up a new Factory Talk alarms and events server. Again, remembering the best practice of putting all servers into their own area, we will create an area called AE Server. Next, create a new tag alarm and event server. We'll also call it AE Server. Go to the Priorities and History tab and uncheck Enable History. Again, for this demo, we aren't using a historical alarm DB. For now, we'll leave all other properties at their default and click OK to create the server. Now that we have a Factory Talk alarm and event server configured, we can use the Alarm Migration tool. This tool converts the View Alarm tags that were brought in from our RSView32 project into a format that can be imported into Factory Talk alarms and events. Before we do that, we need to export the alarm tags from our project using the Factory Talk View Tag Import and Export wizard. This wizard is installed with Factory Talk View Studio. Let's take a look at how to do that. First, now that we have the RS Lynx Enterprise Server created, we will need to update a few HMI tag references to point to the correct controller. We Manually update the tags. The three tags we need to update are in the root of the tag database and are tank 1 level, tank 2 level, and tank 3 level. To do this, we need to rebrowse the device address. For tank 1 level, we'll point to the RS Lynx Enterprise data server, select our shortcut, open the online tag folder, and select the tank value 1 tag. For Tank 2 level, we'll point to the same place and choose the Tank Value 2 tag. And finally, for Tank 3 level, we'll point to the same place and choose the Tank Value 3 tag. And now we'll click Close to close the Tag Editor. Next, we'll open the Tag Import and Export wizard. This tool exports HMI tag information in a format that can be imported into our Factory Talk Alarms and Events server. It's accessed through the Windows Start menu. On the first screen, the operation is to export the view tag DB to a CSV file. Click Next. 
Select the Site Edition project type. Now browse to our Factory Talk View SE HMI server. Select the new HMI server.sed and click Next again. Leave both the tags and alarms selected to export both to CSV files. Click Finish to export the tags and alarms. Next, we'll convert the exported alarm tags to a format that our Alarms and Events server can use, using the Alarm Migration tool. This tool is not installed with Factory Talk View. You must get it from the Knowledge Base in AID 45583. We've installed the tool on our computer already. Launch the Alarm Migration tool. The RSView HMI Alarms to A&E Tag-Based Alarms option is selected, so just click Next. We'll browse to the CSV files we just created for both tags and alarms. Click Next. We have to give the A&E file a name. I'll click the Browse button and name the file aeserver.xls. Click Next. You can select some other options for the alarms, but we'll leave these at their defaults and click Migrate Alarms. And we see that the alarms were successfully converted. We'll close the exported file that was opened in Excel and go back to Factory Talk View Studio. Now we need to import the alarm tags into our Factory Talk Alarms and Events server. We'll right click on our Alarms and Events server and pick Import and Export. Select the Import Alarm Configuration from the Excel file option and click Next. Browse to our project folder and select the Excel file we just exported our HMI tags and alarms to. Click Next. Select the Update Existing Alarm Definitions and Create New Alarm Definitions from the Import File option and click Finish. The alarms are imported into our Alarms and Events server. Now we'll look at what was imported. Double-click to open the Alarm and Events setup. As you can see, three alarms were imported from the RSView32 alarm tags. Now, to view Factory Talk alarms and events at runtime, we'll need to go to the Alarm Summary screen and update the Alarm Summary control. This needs to be done manually. The RSView32 Alarm Summary is not automatically converted when imported into Factory Talk View SE. Open the Alarm Summary screen. Delete the Alarm Summary object and re-add the Alarm and Event Summary object in Factory Talk View SE. This object subscribes to alarms and events in the Factory Talk system and lets you monitor and interact with them. This control is highly customizable, but we're going to leave it as it is for this demo. Click OK to close the Properties window. We're done with the Alarm Summary screen, so save and close the display.